I'm gonna tell you really quick, three things I love about this tool right here. Two in one versatility, you got a roller and a crimp around here. It ships ground, either UPS ground or FedEx ground right to your house, no freight involved, and it's cheap. Way cheaper than a traditional three point Colta packer. Yeah, it's a little bit smaller, right? But man, it's a heck of a lot cheaper. And you can save 5% with code GWT, order at packermax.com. And the old cameraman there, proven his worth, came up with another one too. You don't even need to use a tractor. You can use your ATV or UTV, garden tractor, shoot, maybe even a zero turn. It just hooks to a draw bar or a little hitch there. You don't have to use your three point. Now, of course, we have it hooked to our three point with our Versa bracket on there and uh, got a hitch plugged into the two inch receiver. But those are a lot of great features about this tool. So we're gonna tell you a little bit more about it now. And then we're gonna show you how it works in action. This is a Michigan company, all right? Supporting the home team, go blue. Now Packer Max, a lot of options. Go to their website, you're gonna see them. You don't have to get this crimper roller on there. Uh, I do believe though you can add it on. So if you just get a roller now and you wanna get a crimper later, you can do that. I'll tell you a little bit more about what that crimper is here in a minute. But it's got these clean offs on there, all right? So you get that mud and everything else building up on and these clean offs as it spins around are gonna keep that mud from piling up. You can get it in a tandem size as well. So you can put two of these four foot sections together and make it eight foot wide. They actually just came out with a six foot wide version too. So it's a very heavy duty plastic, kind of like what our, our Rhino High Canopy is, all right? This stuff is tough, it's durable, but it's lightweight. And so that's how they can um, fit it inside a box and get it shipped to you UPS ground or FedEx ground again, whichever one it is. But it also makes it so that it's easy to store. You know, in the winter time, you can drain it out and then just throw it up on a shelf or easily maneuver it by hand to a, a storage location and park it vertical too. Assembly doesn't take a whole long, say 15, 30 minutes. I think their website says 15 minutes, probably a little bit of extra time uh, putting the crimper on there. And so what this does, I've never done it before. Today's gonna be the first time I've done it. I've heard about it, but basically um, it's, it's killing off a cover crop in a controlled way. So we have winter rye that we planted last year and it's, basically near maturity and I was doing some research watching some videos on when the right timing is to crimp winter rye and you pay attention to the seed head and, and uh, just the development of it and so we're kind of right in that sweet spot there where it's time to do that and so these flat bars okay we're going to flip this over you just flip it over the other way and then put all the weight on this little crimper roller here uh, but these flat bars are going to every every few inches make a little break or like smash the stalk, okay? And so it's slowly gonna kill that winter rye and, and leave a nice controlled cover mat that's breaking down as you seed in your new seed for the fall. And so this is big with like a, a no-till strategy. You know, winter rye, you can broadcast that stuff out. It grows anywhere. It just about grows in the back of uh, the truck bed if you have a pile of dust in the corner. That stuff's super easy to, to grow and take off. And so it's just a way to um, suppress weeds as well. And you get that, that growth there. It holds in moisture uh, for the new seed. It suppresses the weed competition and it's, I, I'm new to the game, all right? You guys out there that have been doing that for a long time, you'll have a lot more insight to share. Um, I'm kind of learning as I go with this, but I'm excited to use this tool. There's other big crimper rollers that are out there that cost Boku bucks, right? And so this is not made for like some big ag operation, but really I think more intended for the kind of use that we're using it for today. Now the flip side of that, cool to packing, all right? That is typically for tilled ground, right? You, you disc it up, you till it up, and then you want to get a consistent seed bed, you know? And you can do that with a Colta packer, you're gonna have little divots or consistent impressions spaced out every few inches there so your seed drops into it. And then after you seed, you can come back over with the Colta packer again and firmly press that seed into the ground so you have way better germination. It's been a practice that's been used for a very long time. And so we'll show you both of these features of this crimper roller today and give you a visual demonstration. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden, we're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. Now, a lot of you still haven't seen the tractor that we're using, it's the Summit TX25. Uh, one of the newest entries into the compact tractor world and we've done tons of videos telling all about the features and the things that set that apart you know so get more information at the other videos that you want or go to summittractors.com as well they they sell in a different format they service in a different format they provide extra 
normally optional features as standard. So a lot of really cool things. Uh, this tractor is working well. We've had it about a year now. We're doing some property improvement out here. I had uh, a guy that I think some of you are familiar with named Jeff Sturgis. For those of us that are deer hunters, he's kind of like one of the gurus, you know, and uh, I've actually been following him for I don't know, it's over 15 years, close to 20 years, uh, starting out on Michigan Sportsman Forums. He used to be really active on there, and, and I'm not active on there really myself anymore, but uh, just tons, of, just a wealth of information. Then he's got a lot of books come out, and essentially what he does now, he goes around the country. One of his main things, besides running a YouTube channel and, and, and selling product and all that kind of stuff, he goes around to folks' properties, walks it with them, gets an idea of what the surrounding properties are like, what their intentions are with their property, all this kind of stuff, and then develops a plan for deer hunting. You know, and some of us, it probably sounds crazy to others, but some of us just love deer hunting. And so that's uh, one, of the, one of my passions and one of the reasons we bought this land is I've, I've wanted my own chunk of land, well, I maybe mean, ever since I was growing up, right? And finally kind of made that dream come true. And, you know, and I thought to help shorten Shorten the learning curve. You know, I've, I've learned an, a lot over the years, but I'd get a guy in like Jeff to help lay out this property or help me lay out this property in the right way to be more effective. Last year, I really didn't see, had a few decent bucks on camera at night, never saw a decent buck during the day. It was the first year getting to know the property. My son did shoot a nice uh, two-year-old buck. It was his first buck, a nice eight point, a beautiful deer uh, in, in youth season. But so that's what we're doing, right, right where this, this crimping and rolling is going on right now is gonna end up being, it was the primary food source, but it was right in the corner of the property. And so we're gonna turn most of this section into cover. We're gonna plant uh, that HD screening cover that we've planted before around the perimeter this year, but in the spring, we're gonna till that up and then put in switchgrass all around the perimeter, um, as well as uh, the inner ring that you could see that was mowed. That is also gonna be another layer of switchgrass to keep having layers of cover. And then in the very middle is gonna be a small clover plot. And we're gonna have several of those around the property that are kind of drawing deer in um, sort of on a path from different areas outside the property. And they're all, the intent is to kind of funnel with uh, small food sources and cover on the way to a bigger food source that's right in the middle of the property. And so draw the deer in from the surrounding properties into the middle. Uh, there's plenty of water around here. There's, there's cover, of course, around all the perimeter, but get those deer to stay on the property here longer by um, providing what's really the missing feature in this area, which is a huge, probably two and a half, three acre food plot uh, right next to, um, kind of in front of the barn, by the house, sort of, sort of that way, but that will also be heavily screened as well. So the verdict is still out from what I can tell on if you should seed before or after crimping. Um, I decided to, to seed, to plan to seed right after crimping because ev everything was packed down already. It was already laid over. I just didn't like the idea of seeding through all the four or five foot tall winter eye that we had, it would probably make an uneven seed pattern uh, for spreading it out. And then you're driving all over it and maybe it wouldn't crimp as well after that too. So I decided I'm gonna, I'm gonna seed shortly after uh, crimping it here and let that seed just kind of work its way down underneath. And then as this rye slowly decomposes, slowly dies, and again, it's gonna hold moisture um, down underneath as cover, it's gonna suppress the weeds while we do have some clover in here already, but I'm gonna overseed and more clover to really thicken it up. It was just kind of a mixture last year. And so I wanna make this a, a, just a, a, a variety of clovers in this plot here that's gonna be perennial and come up year after year. And so here's a good example of uh, what the crimping process does. And you can see every two, three, four inches, whatever it is here, that all these breaks, where those, those flat plates on that crimper are rolling over on top of each stalk of winter eye. And so it's just slowly you know, it's not chopping it right off, right? And so it's just starving it of nutrients that way and slowly uh, killing it. And it's just, I don't know, I guess a better way to do it. Like I say, I kind of rely on the experts. This technology has been out for a while and um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to give it a shot. It looks, it's kind of a satisfying thing to do. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. It, it looks pretty cool. I feel kind of like I'm, like I'm farming, you know, like what does, uh, what's that guy's name on Jeremy Clarkson? I'm tractoring. That's what I'm doing. Clarkson's farm there, yeah. Um, so really overall, I mean, both these tools, super easy. It's, I think it's pretty cool to have one or two tools in one. Again, you don't have to get that crimper feature on there right away. It just bolts on in addition. You can get a wheel kit uh, for the Cultipacker as well. 
So I think it bolts on out here too. Maybe it bolts on with or without the, the crimper roller. You'll get more information again at packermax.com, 5% off with code GWT. But if you are looking for a bigger three-point Colta Packer, we sell those as well. So you can go to goodworkstractors.com. We've got those available, five, six, seven, eight foot wide. But that's gonna wrap it up for us today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you wanna see other tractor tools in action, we have over 700 other videos out there for you to enjoy. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.